If you can bring with you a small and lightweight camera bag with equipment that is able to deliver professional content both for yourself or for your clients, you're gonna have a pretty easy life, guys. Ciao guys and welcome back, it's your friend Luca and in today's video I'm gonna share my updated minimalist camera bag for content creator. During the last past year I've revisioned my minimalist camera bag because I found out that uh, uh, it was still a little bit heavy and I was missing a couple of really important things for my type of shooting. Uh, in my case, I shoot most of the time handheld because yeah, that's my style. And yeah, if I need to bring with me a gimbal, I can always bring it. I can always attach it outside. And yeah, because I'm using this uh, lower pro and uh, is the sling side. I don't remember the name. I will write it down. And it's like a one shoulder camera bag and I prefer to use this type of uh, camera bag because it's um, pretty fast uh, if I need something from the camera I can just slide the camera bag and grab what I want and yeah it speed up a lot my flow when I work with camera and I'm totally fine uh, to have uh, all the weight in one shoulder uh, because sometimes I also swap it, I remove it from my shoulder and I put it around my waist to yeah, free a little bit my back from extra weight that maybe I don't need during a shooting. And it's actually pretty handy to have it around your waist because uh, if you keep your backpack on the shoulders you have the problem that you're gonna be uh, a little bit unbalanced if you work handheld. So I find it pretty handy to use it uh, uh, in my waist to stay more stable when I shoot handheld. I can just grab this camera bag and travel for months around the world and I'll be totally happy with the results I will get with the equipment I bring with me. A really important tool that I always bring with me is this uh, peak design clip where I can clip my camera uh, in front of my chest and this uh, will help me to don't have neck pain because it doesn't make sense to bring around a camera uh, with the neck strap for a long time and I think it's handy if I free my hand from this microphone uh, so I will show you the first piece of gear that I use 99% of the time and I will attach it on my tripod that I'm filming right now the magic arm this is an extremely important uh, piece of gear that I bring always with me I think it's uh, the most important piece of gear that I bring with me because I can simply clamp my camera everywhere I want. Sometimes I don't even bring a tripod with me for a really long uh, period of time. And yeah, for example, if I do a city trip where there are a lot of poles and uh, bench and other stuff around the city, I can simply clamp my camera in position to take uh, uh, stable videos or long exposure photography or time lapses and if needed I can also use it for vlog setups because I can simply clamp uh, um, my camera on the table I don't know if you can see it okay I think I have to move the camera to show you this but yeah you can use the imagination and another pretty cool way of using this accessory is to remove this part and then you can attach the microphone here uh, so you can boom a directional microphone uh, pretty much everywhere just have to be creative with your interviews or documentaries and you can also use it for a light so you can set your light in uh, positions that you cannot really place a tripod on sometimes and yeah, I really find this uh, setup extremely handy. I can't recommend a better tool for independent filmmakers that want to be lightweight. But now I'm gonna attach my microphone on this so I'll use a different angle. I can talk more freely in this uh, vlog style video. We are all creatives, so sometimes we just have to be creative. Uh, so I decided to put the camera bag next to me and I'm gonna talk about the accessories I use and yeah, I'm gonna showcase you the product on the table it's gonna make my life easier 
So next to the clamp, I use this uh, quick release plate that works both for uh, Arca Swiss, but also with the uh, Manfrotto. No, it's not Manfrotto. It's working with the uh, Peak Design Arca Swiss and. Uh... Let's hope I can make it. So this is working both with the Arca Swiss and the Peak Design quick release plate. So let's start to talk about the first piece of gear that I have in my backpack um, next to the clamp and the quick release plate that I just showed you that is the video micro from Rode it is extremely handy, it has a very good audio quality and uh, I would use this type of microphone in a location where I have bad audio for example my living room that has a terrible acoustic and I would have boom this microphone thanks to the clamp that I just showed you somewhere here and I would have attached this uh, Rode video micro to another piece of gear that I find it pretty essential as a filmmaker the wireless go so I can just uh, connect these two microphones together to have uh, a boomed wireless microphone uh, directly to my camera so I don't have the problem of uh, syncing audio in post I can also use this microphone as a standalone just with the, a lavier I think this video is gonna be a sort of apocalypse video let's see what's gonna happen I have a lot of trees next to the house so I hope I can finish this video and uh, yeah the road wireless go and another important piece of gear that I have in my backpack is the top handle in case I need to rig a little bit my camera and um, so I have extra uh, slots to attach a microphone or a light or uh, an external monitor I can pretty much attach everything here and I don't think it's a big problem for the hot shoe of the camera because I'm gonna hold the camera and this way so I'm gonna support the weight of the tools on top of the top handle and yeah the hot shoe is gonna just carry the weight of the camera itself and the lens that I don't really use an heavy weight setup so it's not gonna be a problem for the hot shoe of the camera if you start to use anamorphic lenses or pretty heavy lenses and or external batteries I suggest you to buy a cage because you have to preserve the hot shoe of your camera to don't compromise the functionality of your camera you're getting dark here let's go to ISO 4000 okay here we are then what is important for me is to bring a charging hub this is extremely handy because I have five charging ports and Two of them are quick charge, so I can charge pretty much all the equipment at once. Just one uh, electricity plug. Lights. I recently discovered these lights from uh, Sandmark. They are uh, the bicolor light and the RGB light. And I love them because they are extremely lightweight and they have pretty high capacity of battery. They have like uh, 1500 mAh with a resistance of 8 watts, so they are pretty convenient to bring with me. And what I like the most is that they have a pretty cool diffusion system that surprisingly is working well. Uh, I can show you the bicolor light. Okay, this is a little bit hard, but like this is a 50%. As you can see, it is extremely strong. And it's diffusing extremely well. It is a bicolor, so I can change it to 55k to a range of 3000 to 9000. So it's extremely versatile. Yeah, I can use it for any type of application I can think about. Also for creative shots, so I can uh, work on, uh, um, let's say, I can play with the white balance of my camera if I want to have some creative shots but I also have the RGB LED light that is the same specs as the other one 
the cool thing of this light is that I can simply place it anywhere to have some ambient light and so I can simply have a two simple light setup for my blogs and YouTube talks everywhere I am and without having any problems of uh, adding too much weight in my camera bag. I can also use it for documentaries or weddings video or interviews. I just have to place it properly. I can also just bounce it uh, toward a wall and I'm gonna have a pretty good uh, light. And yeah, cleaning system. Uh, this is extremely good because it has a filter in the blower so it will not blow dust inside your sensor or on your lens and this is from VSGO I don't know how to pronounce it is the brand that creates uh, the cleaning uh, kit for the sensor and uh, it is a little bit pricey I think about it around 30 euros but it's working extremely well and then I have filters I don't go around with many filters I just have a black promise 77 millimeters with an intensity of 1.8 to take out the digital look from my camera and because I use Panasonic Lumix S cameras that don't have optical low pass filter like Canon or Sony so the images can have a little bit of a digital look so I yeah, pretty much always use the diffusion filter in front of my lens and except some vintage lenses like the Russian lenses and um, uh, this will help to have a better organic looking images. We are going from uh, night to day here with the light. I think we can recover some highlights later in post, let's see. And in another pouch, I have just two fixed ND <laughs> almost two fixed ND filters. Uh, I use the Nisi or Nisi. I don't know how to pronounce it. In Italy, we call it uh, Nisi. I have the Air ND ND filter uh, with intensity of 64 and ND with intensity of 8. 99% of the time. I just use the uh, the one with the intensity of uh, 64, so this one, and I can play around with the dual gain of the camera. That uh, um, in a situation where I'm in a bright daylight, I can uh, lower the ISO to ISO 640 of my Lumix S camera, and if I'm in the shadow, so not really uh, well lit scene. I bump the ISO to ISO 4000 uh, because then I will uh, introduce the second gain of the camera that will have pretty much no noise. So it is pretty versatile to use just the ND64 but also have the ND with three stops that uh, in some situation can be handy for example during blue hours or early morning and also keep in mind I can always stack these two filters to have an ND filter with an intensity of uh, 9 for some long exposure photography or cool time lapses. Then, okay, we are pretty much overexposed here. Let's stop down the aperture. Oh man, this video is gonna be such a pain to edit in post. Uh, okay, then I have this pretty cool ring that I can adapt to all my... Oh, to all my lenses and this is pretty handy because when I hold my camera I don't introduce a shake when I twist the manual focus ring of my lens and I can just use the thumb to move around this adapter and I can show you right now how to use it it doesn't cost anything I think about it like one euro from Amazon or Aliexpress, I don't remember. So now that we are here, I can talk about my most used lens, the Zeiss 35mm f2. This is my go-to lens for every situation and it's beautiful. I think it's the most beautiful lens ever made and 
I also have the Leica R 35mm f2 but I prefer to use this Zeiss lens because uh, sometimes I like to do landscape photography and uh, I need uh, perfect sharpness corner to corner without too much character and with this lens I can just stop down the aperture to f5.6 to have uh, a perfect image to the wall frame and okay we're getting thunders so to see how it works this adapter is extremely easy you just uh, okay i think i already calibrated for this lens before so you pretty much okay put it wrong let's put it correctly okay set it here and yeah you pretty much hold your camera uh, supporting also the lens to balance it properly and you can change the aperture of your lens just with two fingers without adding uh, extra shake to your uh, camera and that's pretty handy even if you have a camera with ibis because uh, uh, the ibis can really warp the edges of your footage even if you are extremely careful and so it's uh, pretty handy to minimize every type of shake in your camera camera I know what you are thinking I love the S1 but the S5 because I also create content for YouTube it's uh, uh, more convenient I just have a flip screen and I'm ready to vlog and I use the 24105 f4 because there are projects that I need to have different perspectives and the 24105 f4 lens uh, that is also stabilized I think is the best match for the Lumix S cameras because uh, with this lens you will not have much problem of the warping edges in the corner of your footage and I can simply vlog if I want to vlog holding the lens like this without uh, using a tripod or a monopod because uh, the lens will compensate the shake. Um, I use the 2260 for a pretty long time. And uh, yeah, 20 millimeters that lens is warping too much in the corners. And um, yeah, this lens weighed 700 grams. The 2260 weighed 300 grams, but the tripod that I need to use to have stable footage weighs like more than one kilo. So it doesn't make much sense to don't use this 24105 f4 that is stabilized. If I have to vlog, I mean, I can also place it on a tripod, but um, I'm not really a vlogger that I go around the vlogging like this, talking about stuff, but I understand that it's handy to have uh, this setup for pretty much every situation I can work on. Also, if I want to take footage from a car or uh, any type of uh, transport, uh, having the stabilized lens will help me to have uh, usable footage uh, because I don't go around with a gimbal thanks to this uh, system uh, otherwise I would have had uh, an extra 2 kilogram of the Ronin S maybe for a couple of shots that I never do so it doesn't make sense for me to bring also the gimbal but what I bring with me is a little tripod because if you want to do long exposure photos in the night or you want to take time lapses or you need to film yourself in a stable way you need a tripod you can use the clamp but if you use the clamp for the light or for the microphone you're gonna miss something so that's why i need also a tripod and i recently discovered this tripod from sirui or surei nobody knows Write it down in the comment uh, if you know the perfect pronunciation of this. Maybe with the Italian mindset. Uh, this is a great travel tripod because it's made out of uh, carbon fiber, so it's extremely lightweight. It's around, uh, I think, less than one kilo or one kilo, and uh, it can extend. Not that much, but for me, this is enough if I want to do. A vlog from a bench or from a table anywhere. As you can see, I think it's around. How long it is? Mm, 
70 centimeters maybe it is pretty handy and yeah can also take it to all the camera a bit more far from where I am so it is extremely convenient but the great things about this tripod is this the extension tube that I can pretty much use it as a standalone vlog setup so for example I take this pipe and here touch the ball head from the tripod yep and we have pretty much selfie stick where you can attach your camera I have also the pick design quick release plate here and bam flip the screen uh, you are ready to go you have a pretty cool uh, not so stable system for vlogging but if you attach this on the bottom part of your tripod as you can see you have pretty long and lightweight system that you can use for pretty much everything you can think about also for interviews I mean unless you are going to do interviews in a pretty empty room you can always use a little chair or a table to film your videos at the proper eye level of your main subject so this is extremely versatile and handy and it's extremely lightweight and the reason why I don't use the gimbal is because you can always balance your system so for example if you hold the camera like this okay it's a little bit higher yeah, like here so this is the center of gravity of your system so if you hold your camera this part and you open the legs all the way up I'm not saying you're gonna have a steady cam but we are getting close and if you use also the camera strap attached to your neck to give extra support to your system okay you have to close the flippy screen uh, this is a pretty extremely stable system that uh, will not let you miss the gimbal you left at home those extra two and a half kilograms of stuff uh, i'm gonna make a video about uh, handheld techniques how to make your life easier if you want to travel lightweight so stay tuned for that it's coming and just waiting for a day that is not gonna storm and rain like crazy even if you are in summer so this is my minimalist and daily kit when i travel for a long time around europe uh, let me know what do you think in the comment below if you like it or if you would replace something in the kit for maybe you have the experience that uh, something will not work properly in some situations i would really like to know your opinion um, i will make also a video uh, with uh, a more 100 percent professional backpack for more serious content and um, i think i will release in a couple of weeks so don't have uh, too many similar videos uh, together on the channel um, but yeah, this is it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you next time and stay creative. Ciao! Now the sun is shining. I was thinking to do this vlog outside. No, 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 no. I got wet too many times. It's not gonna happen anymore. My nose is constantly stuck, guys. I'm not emphasizing the smell of the rain.